I have a few issues around the use of the term digital identity, and I'm not yeah. alone. I'm not alone. And the reason for that is because it causes language is important. Yeah. And digital identity has caused a few conflations, you know, with different use cases of doing stuff. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. technology is just there to help us to do stuff, isn't yes. it? That's what yeah. technology is, right? And digital identity is no less, no more than just doing stuff. Mm-hmm. And the problem with adding the term identity to it is that it starts to get a little bit kind of emotional. Yeah. People find, people want to make it more than what it is. Mm. And over the years, it has caused some kind of painting into the wall of what an identity, what an identity is, what it conveys, yeah. how it's used, what it reflects. There's also a lot of complexity within the landscape of digital identity. It's really unusual. So I came out of cybersecurity, and you know, so ten years, ten, eleven years ago, I was just doing cybersecurity, right? Mm-hmm. So, and when I came into the digital identity arena, it was like a culture shock mm-hmm. because it was so complicated. Hmm. Digital, I'm not saying digital identity. I'm not saying that security isn't complicated. Yeah, obviously, right, right. But it, it, it was a whole new type of complicated, a whole new level of complexity because it really is where technology and human beings intersect. Yes, yeah. it's yeah. that intersection that makes it really complicated, especially when you work in things like citizen ID and consumer um, identity-driven transactions. Mm-hmm. That's why it's really messy. And of course, cybersecurity is coming along on the on the the coattails of of those same complex issues. But anyway, mm-hmm. so 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 to me, digital identity is probably a misnomer. But I will use it throughout this podcast because people know what that means, right? And we've kind of made our bed with it. But there are different ways of looking at the the whole thing. The landscape is vast. There are competing, and in, it's sometimes adverse factions within yeah. the landscape and um and i don't think it needs to be i think right. it's big enough for everybody i think the use cases for for a digital identity are vast yeah. and there's more than one way to skin a cat yes. and there needs to be more than one way to skin a cat and and consumer and citizen identity is the perfect example of that because not everybody has a smartphone. I'll leave it at that, and I'll bring that back <laughs> later on. All right. Well, I, 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 I'm not letting you leave it there because I, I, I have a few more <laughs> questions here. But um, uh, so I, I, I just wanted to sort of pull in on something you said there that digital identity is maybe being made more complicated than it needs to be uh, vis-a-vis just something that allows us to do stuff because the word identity specifically confers with it this sense of like, you know, you're not just your digital thumbprint, but almost like your digital birth certificate or your digital social security card or your adult, you know, like, is, is that it? it? It's that it has this sort of inference of like, this is your whole life. And it's, yeah, it's this yeah, glowing yeah. orb kind of yeah. thing. And so people yeah. are adding more to it than they need yeah, to. Is yeah. that, is that it? There is an, there is an aspect of that. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'll come more onto that when we talk about because I do want to talk more in depth about the different use cases for digital identity, the different okay. ways that it can be presented. Yeah. Um, but yes, absolutely, it can become extreme. The thing is, is it, it is extremely complex, mm-hmm. and it does need it does need layers of you know protocols and every possible aspect of cybersecurity you can think of comes into play. How about some free cybersecurity training resources for you and your team? Just go to infosecinstitute.com slash free to get ebooks, training guides, and more than 100 cybersecurity training courses, all free for cyber work listeners. Go to infosecinstitute.com slash free and start learning crucial new skills today.